body camera footage shows Sacramento police officers doing a probation search in February of last year related to a known gang member, according to the department. But the person who came to the door was a 10 year old girl. Open the door. I'm a baby. Open the you're door. not a baby if you're not listening. Open the door. Come outside. Come outside right now. Who is here? You're going Who is here? here? After getting handcuffed, the girl cries as she's walked to a police car. And then the officer asks for her age. How old are you? I'm 10. Let me take this off you. I don't need you in handcuffs. Police say the situation lasted around 30 seconds, but advocates say that's enough to cause lasting damage. That 35 seconds of being handcuffed will result in a lifetime of trauma. Of course, it will result in them being afraid of police for the rest of their life. This incident is one of the examples laid out in a lengthy audit of the Sacramento Police Department by the city's Office of Public Safety Accountability, or OPSA. The audit focused on misconduct complaint cases against the department related to improper search and seizure. Out of the 109 cases reviewed between June 1st, 2020 and June 30th, 2022, Sacramento Police agreed that misconduct took place in 17 cases, but OPSA says there were 21 more cases where misconduct occurred. This report identifies cases in which we did not meet those standards. Sacramento Police Chief Kathy Lester responded to the audit at Tuesday night city council meeting and spoke about the 10 year old getting handcuffed. Uh, I think that we can all agree that there is no circumstance where it's OK to handcuff a 10 year old uh, regardless of race. But it's important to note that the department's original response to the audit stated that the officer had reasonable concerns for his safety, which justified the child's detention. Hopes have found that Sacramento police does not have a policy regarding handcuffing minors. Some advocates say it's an easy fix. It feels like the policy for handcuffing minors should be to not handcuff minors. The audit showed that most complaints were about traffic related stops, especially situations where people were pulled over for having tinted windows. According to the audit, in most cases, quote, the window tint appears to be a pretext to initiate an unrelated investigation that had nothing to do with the window tint. And it's clear that it's being used as a tactic to pull somebody over. OPSA says black and Latino community members were disproportionately impacted during police citizen interactions and that a majority of the complaints came from District 2, which covers the Del Paso Heights area. While Chief Lester said there are some parts of the audit the department does not agree with, they are looking into policy changes when it comes to pat down searches, cell phone searches, pretext stops and more. We agree that our department can and must do better to meet our standards with every stop and encounter. And we agree that there are evolving best practices in law enforcement. And we must continually seek to adopt these. Reporting in Sacramento, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. The city's Office of Public Safety Accountability says that they would like to be given the resources to investigate more police complaints over a larger time frame to better understand the issues involved. Well,